I remember years ago, there was a gentleman who was going to get an appointment. I think he was in, in an oil and gas company. This guy had labored and worked hard. Everybody in the family had struggled financially and in destiny. They were sincere people. And then this guy kept engaging this mistress. Finally, a job that was going to come and open a door to wipe the tears of people. Do you know what happened? This guy slept and suddenly started having all kinds of funny dreams. This was according to him. And then they would, they, he was supposed to bring a report of medicals. And there were specific hospitals they were to go to. From nowhere, this guy was diagnosed with something that was going to make him lose that job. I remember very clearly. He reached me and said, I've never been like this. I, this, this was my genotype. This is my blood group. This is this. Where did this one come from? And I told him, I said, my friend, let me tell you, if you are interested in that job, you need to know that Satan has determined a threat that in your rising is the rising of many. Instead of fighting everybody, he should fight you. Hear me. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. There are men that are equal to nations. Instead of Satan fighting nations, he will focus on fighting them. If he can fight the mantle upon your life, that will be equivalent to fighting a million people across the globe. If he can fight your ministry, it is cheaper than fighting all who will rise from you. If he can fight your business, he is by extension fighting all those who look up to you for direction and inspiration. It's time to fight the fight of faith. I told that gentleman, I said, I will pray for you. The devil is a liar. Don't believe that nonsense. Here is an opportunity for your rising to help wipe the tears of your family. Hallelujah. There are many of you here who are victims of the realities of foundations and God wants to lift your family not just you oh Joseph the attack is not on you the attack is on the deliverer who will save Egypt Israel it is not about you Joseph one day you will become the second in command you will have access to preserving the destiny of a nation Moses it is not about you satan is too serious to fight individuals he fights dreams he fights prophetic programs he fights mantles all oh, prophet hear me the battle you are going through has nothing to do with you it is a mantle that you are carrying an apostolic and a prophetic mantle satan was there when prophecy was spoken over you Satan was there when declarations were made. It was not angels alone. He was there. He had the declarations. Listen. Did you ever ask why Satan kept moving through the scribes and the Pharisees to ask Jesus who he was? They met John the Baptist and said, are you that one? what was satan looking for he didn't say why are you here there, there was a person they were looking for and john kept confusing them who are you i am the voice of one crying in the wilderness saying repent make straight his ways and then jesus comes you know why satan killed john because he knew the jesus and he did not say it when jesus was finally ordained and commissioned he ensured that like Jezebel wanted the head of Elijah, the head of John the Baptist went for it. I shared with you my visions. Years ago, I was praying one night and then the roof, the ceiling of my room just disappeared. And I'm seeing this creature that is standing before me. A giant creature looking like a dinosaur. Having a tail that had its own life. That could be disconnected from the creature and still be alive.
bulgy eyes one eye was looking like the head of a man and he was looking with fierce anger and spoke fluently so you think you can bring god's people into abundance i have met demons i have met spirits it is not only angels i have met i have met demons i have met spirits i can tell you one thing with the devil he's determined when he finds out that there is prophecy on your life when he finds out that you're opening the door is the rising of many get ready the king of tyre he will wait for you elijah there are bands of prophets waiting to come and frustrate you but thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph thanks be to god hear me the secret now is in job 38 and verse 33 it says knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish the dominion thereof in the earth do you know the principles by which the mysteries by which the heaven regulates itself and can you reproduce that reality in the earth this is what jesus meant when he said your kingdom come and your will be done capture the principles the modus operandi of the spirit and reproduce it within your life within your sphere and you truly will begin to walk like a god upon the earth psalm 82 and verse 5 he says they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course verse 6 says i have said ye are god and all of you not some are children of the most high the next verse says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes i made up my mind that as far as it depends on me as far as it depends on me I will not only force those doors to open that everyone behind me it says i and the children that the lord has given me we are for signs and for wonders you are not the only one who came from a bad background find out where jesus came from nathaniel said can anything good come out of nazareth and jesus did not say you are lying because the most popular nazarene that they knew died in a very painful way the man called Samson that there was a spirit that followed great Nazarenes even though they were people who had a covenant with God and would just destroy them at the prime of their life Nathaniel said don't waste your time following Jesus there is something in his foundation his success will not last and Jesus sees such a man and says an Israelite indeed in whom there is no guile in other words from the sincerity of his heart what he's saying is true I know it is true that people who come from where you are from never rise beyond a certain threshold it is true until your access to the mysteries of the kingdom rewrites that script I know it is true that certain people never attain onto a level of wealth and abundance with a kingdom mindset it looks like the only way you live is by begging all the days of your life anointed but you are a beggar and so the spirit wants but you can arise and rewrite certain things rewrite certain things rewrite certain things every decree can change let me tell you the truth every decree can change even when Haman died the king had already stamped a decree that permitted the death of the Jews so the, the enemy had gone but the system was still going to cause their defeat and esther came and told the king you are a king you are the one who wrote the first one you can write another decree again we change decrees by writing another decree who wrote the decree that you will not rise i am also a king and a priest unto my god and i can take the advantage of that king priest dimension in partnership with the spirit and right that from this moment henceforth everybody rises that from this moment henceforth everybody rises that from this moment henceforth god is glorified in everybody connected to me where the word of a king is the bible says there is 